Megan Belitho. I'm an assistant professor of chemistry here at USF. Our research centers on a phenomenon in bacteria called quorum sensing, um, which is a process by which bacteria communicate with one another, the individual cells, uh, until they reach a big group or the quorum. And it's at that point that they're able to coordinate a t um, group, what we call group behaviors. And one of them is uh, coordinated attacks on the immune system. And the way that those bacteria communicate with one another is through small organic molecules. So our goal is to make small organic molecules that will interfere with that communication process. Types of diseases that could be caused by quorum sensing bacteria you can go anywhere from food poisoning, things like Lyme disease, and staph infections, which are common infections in hospitals these days. What reaction number is this then? Number six of number this. Six. I'm Emily Marzinski. I am currently a junior at USF, and I'm a chemistry major. When I came to USF, I always imagined that I'd be working on research, but I didn't imagine that I'd be working on a project of this level that has potential to be published to translate further into the healthcare realm. I think it is really important to have undergraduates involved in research. From one perspective, a lot of students who are good at science, um, if they don't have researchers in their families or anything, like they're always pushing, like, oh, you're good at biology or chemistry, you should be a doctor, right? But there's this whole world of research, of doing of experimentation and that you might not know even exist. And here at USF in the chemistry department, um, we not only have undergraduates in our own lab, but we also have um, a course where all the stu undergraduate students in all the research labs get together and share their research projects. The opportunity to work in, or in an organic chemistry lab, it helps me build my skills to translate to my future.